Hey guys, this is Chip with Unity Tactical. We're here at TriggerCon. I'm going to walk you through some of our products. At Unity, we're most known right now for our fast mounts. Fast is our entire optic mount system. Uh, probably the flagship is going to be the micro mount right here. It's going to fit any micro footprint optic, so Aimpoint, Sig, Vortex, Holosun, and what it's doing on all of our fast micro, uh, I'm sorry, all of our fast red dot systems is putting the mechanical center line of the optic at 2.26 inches above the rail. So that's going to be a little bit taller, and what that's giving you is the ability to have a heads up shooting position. So you're bringing the optic to you instead of you down to the optic. That's allowing the same presentation if you're dressed in a shirt and flip-flops or you got a plate carrier, you got gas mask, you've got passive night vision, it's all going to be the same. But that heads up shooting position is going to allow you to get a lot more situational awareness around you so that you can process a lot more information, make that decision to solve the problem. So you can see it's not too terribly tall to the point where you're losing a cheek weld, but you're still bringing the optic to you rather than you to the optic. We make fast mounts for pretty much every popular red dot on the market. Like I said, you've got the micro footprints here. Over here, we've got the full size comp series. So uh, all the legacy Aimpoint comp uh, M2, M3s, as long as you're using the Aimpoint top ring assembly, the, uh, the comp M4 and M4S, which are standard issue with the US Army, um, they're gonna drop right on. This is an Aimpoint Pro, uh, one of their most popular selling optics for law enforcement, and it's gonna drop right on. It's gonna give you that same 2.26 inches to center line as the rest of our red dots. Um, for uh, direct to rail mounts, we've got our fast riser, and that's going to put stuff like the EOTech EXPS, the uh, Vortex Hueys, um, all the, those direct to rail mount optics are going to go on that riser and again give you that 2.26 inch to center line rise. Why is that important beyond the, uh, the attributes that I just gave you? Well, you'll notice our magnifier mounts. Our magnifier mounts are also gonna be the 2.26 inch mechanical center line for the optic. What that's giving you with that added height is the ability, instead of flipping your magnifier off to the side where it catches, to go straight down. And you're going to now have the optic essentially stowed within the footprint of the receiver and be able to look right over top of it without any occlusion of your sight picture. So now you can keep that magnifier on at all times, use it in all conditions, and it's ready to go. It's just a force to overcome mechanism, straight up, straight down. All of our fast mounts are made in the US, US materials, 7075 T6, type three hard coat, mil spec anodized aluminum. We are also known for our switches. We do hot buttons, we do mod button lights for mod light systems, we do the taps, which is gonna be a dual button, dual lead system, but all of these are gonna bolt directly onto the rail. And what that's giving you is a lot more security for your switches. Traditional switches, you have to Velcro, you gotta tape them, you've gotta use uh, zip ties, uh, 550 cord, all sorts of stuff. All of our switches actually hard mount with hardware directly to the rail. Some of our other fast mounts you can see over here not mounted. We've got LPVO systems with modular offsets. The uh, offset componentry is actually going to be the same height over bore uh, as your, your primary optic. So when you roll from your primary to your secondary, you're not dealing with the different height over bore and now having to do math in your head because everybody hates doing math in public. We've got mounts here for the MRO footprint, for ACOG and VCOG, and one of our newer ones is going to be the Micro S. So for the taller micro size, like uh, this is the Duty RDS from Aimpoint, which is new this year, and then the Comp M5S, which is essentially the same as something like the, the uh, T2 or the Comp M5 that has the AAA battery at the top, they mount theirs on the uh, M5S lower. So that means that 
they have to have a bit of a neck down here so it's going to actually sit taller. So to get that same 226 over rail height, we had to make a little bit of a shorter micro mount. Down here, we've got our clutch belt. This is a, a soft goods system that we designed and basically it's an enhanced belly band. Uh, all berry compliant, made in the US, US materials. 520 two-way stretch tweeve on the outside and the inside of these four and a half inch cells is lined with Velcro pile. So we make these different insert kits that are elastic with Velcro. You slide them in, attach it. Velcro gets its strength from shear rather than pull. So if you want to pull those uh, uh, little accessory kits out, you need to deliberately pull them apart and get them out. They're not going to come out just from sliding mags in and out. You can also adapt to various Kydex holsters. So as long as it's four and a half inches or narrower, all you gotta do is take the belt loops off of the, the holster, all that hardware, and uh, it comes with industrial strength adhesive back Velcro hook. And you just cut it to size, slap it on there, insert any of the Kydex. So you've got any kind of Kydex holster here for a pistol. You can do Kydex sheaths from knives. Essentially, you can get a full duty belt worth of kit to disappear tight to your body underneath a hoodie or a, a button-down shirt, uh, lightweight jackets, things like that. We've got our cold weather liner, which is basically a Velcro in system. You're gonna pull the pads out of your helmet. So any helmet that uses a Velcro pad system, this is gonna be able to be used with. This Velcros to the inside of the shell and then it's got Velcro on the inside that your pads go back into. So now you're eliminating all the rubbing, all the chafing that a hat that's grinding into your scalp and into your hair from the weight of the helmet is gonna give you. The lower cut down here is gonna completely cover up your ears, which are very sensitive to frostbite. So especially for the law enforcement officers out there, if you're on like a eight hour barricade job in February and you're anywhere north of the Mason Dixon, something like that is gonna keep you a lot more comfortable uh, during those hours. We do various helmet attachment systems for comms, low profile, this is our mark kit that's gonna be compatible with uh, both Peltor and Sordon based headsets. We also do platform adapters for the OpsCore Amp, which is the contract winner for SOCOM. Uh, these headset systems were obviously originally designed to go on OpsCore helmets, but we make a platform adapter that'll put it on non OpsCore systems like Team Wendy, uh, M Tech, and Hardhead Veterans. So, guys, thanks for watching. Again, this is Chip with Unity Tactical coming at you from TriggerCon. <laughs> if you like this video and want to support us, please check out the Millspec Monkey Store. Although known for morale patches, we also specialize in a good selection of DIY hardware and tactical accessories.